Well, good morning, everybody, and welcome to Tuesday's Daily Prayers. Um, good to be together again in prayer. Um, I hope that you're doing well uh, and that your day's gone well so far. Um, as always, uh, you'll find the words that we're using today in the description box below the video here. Um, there's also contact details for myself. Um, and as always, we'll just take a few moments to prepare our hearts and our minds and our bodies and our spirits uh, to listen for God's word and to come before God in prayer. We'll take a few moments of quiet now. The peace of Christ be with us all. We say together, Bless the Lord, O my soul, and all that is within me, bless his holy name. In the name of the Father and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. Amen. Almighty God, in your love and power, you created all things out of nothing. By your eternal counsel and providence, you uphold and rule heaven and earth. Gracious God, you not only created each of us, but you sustain and form us with your Holy Spirit. We trust in you, God our Maker, Jesus our Mediator, Holy Spirit our Comforter. Today's Psalm is Psalm 83. O God, do not keep silent. Be not quiet, O God, be not still. See how your enemies are astir, how your foes rear their heads. With cunning they conspire against your people, they plot against those you cherish. Come, they say, let us destroy them as a nation, that the name of Israel will be remembered no more. With one mind they plot together, they form an alliance against you. The tents of Edom and the Ishmaelites, of Moab and Hagrites, Gebal, Ammon and Amalek, Philistia and the people of Tyre, even Assyria has joined them to set, lend strength to the descendants of Lot. Do to them as you did to Midian as you did to Sisera and Jabin at the river Kishon, who perished at Endor and who became like refuse on the ground. Make their nobles like Oreb and Zeb, all their princes like Zeba and Zalmunna, who said, let us take possession of the pasture lands of God. Make them like tumbleweed, O oh my God, like chaff before the wind. As fire consumes the forest or a flame sets the mountains ablaze, so pursue them with your tempest and terrify them with your storm. Cover their faces with shame so that men and women will seek your name, O Lord. May they ever be ashamed and dismayed. May they perish in disgrace. Let them know that you, whose name is the Lord, that you alone are the Most High over all the earth. Amen. We say together the Lord's Prayer. Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread, and forgive us our debts as we forgive our debtors. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. For thine is the kingdom, the power, and the glory for ever. Amen. And then in our readings through the Gospel of Matthew, we're at Matthew chapter 27 and verse 11. Meanwhile, Jesus stood before the governor and the governor asked him, Are you the king of the Jews? Yes, it is as you say, Jesus replied. When he was accused by the chief priests and the elders, he gave no answer. Then Pilate asked him, Don't you hear the testimony they're bringing against you? But Jesus made no reply, not even to a single charge to the great amazement of the governor. Amen. This is the word of God. So we use the prayer on the sheets to pray together before a time of quiet for our own prayers and contemplations. We pray together. Lord of heaven and earth, we praise and thank you for upholding and ruling over all creation. We trust in your never failing love, knowing that even in the hardest of times and most difficult of situations, 
You are at work bringing all things together under Christ. Therefore, hear our prayers, which we make in his name. We pray in silence. We continue together. You are the beginning and the end. All time is in your hands, all people under your care. Look with mercy upon our broken world, O God, and in your loving kindness provide for our needs. Do not be slow in answering us, we humbly ask. And do not allow us to be slow in answering your call to serve you in love and sacrifice to the glory of God, Father, Son, and Holy Spirit. Amen. O Christ, the Master Carpenter, who at the last through wood and nails purchased our salvation, wield well your tools in the workshop of the world so that we who come rough hewn to your bench may here be fashioned to a truer beauty by your hand. We ask this for your name and for your sake. Amen. May the Lord of peace himself give us peace at all times and in all ways. And the grace of our Lord Jesus Christ and the love of God and the fellowship of the Holy Spirit be with us all. Amen. Folks, thanks so much for uh, being with us uh, today. I do hope um, that uh, that that it's been good for you. I, I what am I saying to you? I just it's just important, isn't it, to come together and pray. And I hope that you're finding peace and, and help in these times, but also the challenge of listening to God's word to us. Anyway, do go forward into this day knowing that God goes with you, and um, and be at peace in whatever uh, this rest of this day holds for you. And hopefully we'll see you soon. Thanks, everybody. Bye now.